morning students of JBM Global School Noida. I'm your snooker in chess instructor Manoj Tiagi. So in my lesson number eight today I have brought to you another way of beginning and how to start the game. So I would like to make I'd like to make a beginning and show you all the rules involved in chess. So this is how your chessboard looks like. It has uh, file A, file B, file C. You can see this for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H written. So these are all files F, G, file H. So and similarly, you have these ranks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight ranks, as I've already told you earlier. Let's get to the position of each piece. The white pawns are kept on the second rank and the black pawns are kept on the seventh rank. These major pieces are kept as two white rooks on either corner, two black rooks on either corner. Adjacent to these you will place two white knights, two black knights and then two bishops two black bishops and white queen on the white square and the king adjacent and the black queen on the black square and king adjacent so this is you already know how to set the pieces now let us start the game to make a big thing so what I'll be showing you right now is a, not the actual beginning but just to show you how the rules of chess are incorporated. So white makes the first move and so white would like to move this pawn in the king's gambit as a Two steps as you can see from the highlighted squares it can either move one step or two steps so we'd like to move it two steps and see for white uh, e4 is written uh, e4 is written for this move why because e is the file and fourth is the rank and this square is e4 Similarly, if black moves, black can also move in the first move, a pawn, all the pawns can either move one square or two squares forward. So in this case, the black pawn, if it moves two squares, see how the first move is denoted by white e4 and black e5. Why? because black is on the e file and the fifth rank so we always have to denote the landing square or the destination square in notation chess notation and since pawns do not have a capital p so only e4 and e5 are written after this suppose if we are playing a king's gambit then this pawn is moved forward two steps and this forms a pawn duo and look at the notation now in the second move it is f4 white has moved to f4 that means the f file and the fourth rank the black can also move if it wants two steps and make a pawn duo over here because as you know all these four squares are very important to gain supermacy in the game you have to take control of these four squares why do we move these pawns 
there is a very simple logic behind it so that we can move this white bishop out i the white moves its pawns forward so that it can move develop its white bishop or uh, if it wants to take out the queen although queen is never take out uh, taken out in the front line in the beginning because it's uh, we have to keep it safe we have to protect it the reason being because this is the most important piece among the other major pieces and minor pieces in the game so now and since it is the white's turn this it would like to develop its white bishop over here and see a check see for bishops we use b capital b and a small b5 this is the square b5 is the square and a plus sign see a plus sign is written over here that means a check has been given to the king because these are uh, bishops they move diagonally they can move only diagonally they cannot move horizontally or vertically like the rook does okay so now the black would like to keep its knight over here and block the check why were the two squares highlighted because this knight moves in an l shape so it was kept over here another square was this one this also makes a l shape but it was good to keep it over here so that the knight is developed it has moved forward after this the white knight would also like to develop over here like this is the l shape and this was another square which was showing but uh, we will keep it over here try to keep it in the front line after this a bishop black bishop see the highlighted square it's move is, uh, this black bishop can move diagonally so this black bishop can be developed up till here and sort of a give uh, and sort of uh, has a threat to the white queen so what the white would like to do white would like to by uh, keep the knight it has option of three squares so white knight would like to come over here and block the threat from this black bishop to the queen now see the move notation wise it is written as n f3 that is it uh, the uh, it denotes the notation in this chessboard it denotes the white knight otherwise we write just write the n capital n and f3 why because it is has moved to the f file and third rank the destination square although this knight could have moved over here also making an l shape and over here also but this white knight now has come to the front line for developing after this comes the black turn the black knight black bishop see it can move diagonally black this bishop. black knight will like to move up black to over bishop. here and uh, so that if this knight moves so that if knight moves to capture this pawn black pawn then this way will be sort of clear and suppose uh, because i'll have to the white will also have to develop this white bishop so in that case the way will be clear for the sort of an indirect check for the king 
सो अभी राइट ना अभी नथिंग इज हैपनिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट सो नाउ इज द वाइस टर्न द वाइट वुड लाइक टू मूव नाउ वन स्टेप फॉरवर्ड एंड द ब्लैक वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू डेवलप इट्स नाइट ऑन दिस फ्रंट लाइन this black knight at the same time defends the black bishop also because the bishop is located at uh, at an l shape some uh, people who don't know like uh, to play how to play with a opponent's knight so they generally exchange their bishops with the knights exchange means get the uh, try to capture the knight and then the, some other piece captures that uh, bishop so both the pieces are out uh, go out of the chessboard so let's see now what the other move can be made this white bishop can be moved up to over here and in response now the passage is clear for the black to make see black can either move one step or if it's one c it's showing the highlighted square is showing two steps that means if the black wants to do castling it can do it on this side move two steps and this rook will come on this square i'll just show you suppose if the black is kept over here automatically the rook will be placed over here and now the white would also like to do the castling we do castling because uh, the king comes to a safer square like uh, this rook is there and uh, suppose uh, if uh, if the opponent piece attacks this pawn then the king can take it and at the same time this knight is also there to defend it and in case uh, some more force is required then we can move the queen also on this square so that is why it's supposed to be a safe place for the king and uh, now let's see what the black can do the black can move it's see how the uh, unlike the the bishop moves in the diagonal diagonally the rooks move horizontally or vertically but the queen can move in both the ways like a rook and like a bishop for example the queen can move vertically queen can move horizontally and queen can move diagonally also and so to avoid this line of bishop the black queen would like to settle down over here similarly this white queen also to avoid this line of action of this black bishop can dwell up on a this uh, diagonal square so the queen would like to come over develop over here all these pieces are being taken into the front line without capturing because the capturing will take place in the middle game just after this beginning after just 9 10 moves already 9 moves have already been uh, made a uh, ninth move has been made by the white over here and uh, let's see what the black will do black can since the see this okay as you can see White the black bishop. bishop is attacking this pawn and if it moves it rook somewhere else then the bishop will capture this pawn so 
in this case first the black would like to move this pawn forward to make uh, the pawn safe in front of the rook like this pawn safe now because if the white bishop captures this pawn then the pawn over here will overtake and this file will become vacant for this black rook it will come directly into action so that is what the white would not like to do that black so white has taken that step and now this rook as it can move horizontally it can either make a double force over here behind the queen or see this is the tenth move or it can move over here so because there is no threat to this pawn like there is no threat from either side for this pawn so this white rook can move right now a black can also make another one move now since uh, these pawns are safe it can also form a double force or a double power behind the queen so the black rook will come somewhere over here and now you can see all the pieces have been developed so this is how the developing is done in the beginning stage most of the pieces they are attacking and at the same time they are protected by some piece so let's analyze for example this rook is guarded by this knight this rook is also guarded by this rook the rook guards the king the queen guards this knight and this rook this rook white knight this white rook knight. attacks this pawn but then the queen can attack the knight at the same time this knight is protected by this pawn and the queen similarly if black pawn attacks this white pawn then the white bishop can capture the black pawn and this black, black pawn is, is also, also defending, defending the, queen the king diagonally so let's look at the position of the black these both these uh, rooks are guarding each other the queen guards this rook and this rook as well so all three are complementary to each other this black knight protects this black rook this black black knight protects this uh, black bishop this black knight protects this black bishop white knight protects this white bishop at the same time it attacks this black pawn this white knight is guarded by protected by this white pawn so you can see most of the pieces in the developing stage are attacking the opponent pieces and at the same time they are protected by their own pieces so that exchanges can take place and you can 
you know how the exchange is the points in exchange a uh, bishop and a knight can be exchanged because they both have three points but a knight would not like to move out a knight would not like to move out of this way for black bishop to capture the queen black bishop to capture the white queen why because the bishops and knights have only three points and the queen has nine points similarly we have to protect the rooks also rooks have five points each so we keep the queen and the rooks in the back line we don't just take out in the front line for attacking or getting trapped somewhere and uh, because uh, they are carrying the maximum number of points points although it, they don't it doesn't matter how many points you, you have on the chessboard all that matters is a good move and say a check to the king and just finish the game so but still at a very higher level at a, at a very advanced stage yes these points do matter and especially if you don't have a queen that almost your half the battle is lost at a very advanced stage where the world champions play and uh, but uh, for the beginners it, it will not matter it will be just a good move would be required to just capture the opponent's king and finish the game there and then so until my next lesson next week Take care and bye-bye.